Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove parental control on Microsoft account. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for you to remove your parental controls here, what we need to do is we need to access a few things. So first is we need to access our services on our, uh, in this case, our task manager. So in this case, you go and just search task manager at the bottom left here, or you could use the shortcut, which is control shift escape, which in this case, it should open up task manager. Now, in this case, we want to go to services. Now, by the way, if you do not have the same UI that I'm currently viewing, currently viewing right now, you could go ahead and click on the more details option here. It should give you the same UI. But for now, let's go to services tab here, and you want to look for parental controls. So in this case, you want to scroll down a bit here. So in this case, it might be different for you. So you want to go to description. So this is what I like doing here is I want to actually uh, arrange this by the description name instead of the name itself. But yeah, scroll down a bit here. We want to look for P. So you could go and select any here and just click on P. So uh, yeah, let's go and search for parental controls. Yeah. So here we have parental, parental controls. So look for WPC Mon SVC. So what we need to do is we need to right click on it and make sure that you stop this service. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to close task manager here and you want to go to the bottom left here and you want to type in the following, which is going to be services. Let's go ahead and open up services here. And from here, what we need to do is we now need to look for, again, parental controls. You want to click on the first name that you see here. Press on P on your keyboard to go to parental controls immediately. Now, once you see it, right click on it and you want to go to properties. And from here, you want to choose the start or type, start up type here to disable. Now, once you've done that, go and click on apply, click on OK. And from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So this one is pretty simple and pretty fast. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.